Hello, my wonderful fellow Scorpios. Hi, guys. This is a fast bonus reading for being the most viewed videos. It's about views and likes, you know. And basically, that's like food for YouTube, you know, to keep us here. All right, you guys, a quick reading. I laid the cards out ahead of time. I have never had so much time to meditate, so I'm sure you understand. If you're, well, if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I'm here to bring encouragement, entertainment, enlightenment, if I may, confirmations and synchronicities. You decide if it plays out for you. If it doesn't, let it go. It could rip, apply, apply to any one of you. i got to show you this cool little, little light that I got at the dollar store, Scorpios. Look, five bucks, okay? Three AAA batteries, and it's got um, Himalayan rock salt. And lights is in a globe. Totally scorpionic. <laughs> I love this, man. Check it out. I'm going to show you. Bam. Look how nice that looks. So anyway, we're just super creative today. I love you guys. Here's the deal. We all have similar things we're dealing with, but not exactly the same. All right? So I'm going to tap into the similar things for you. If you're coming back to my channel, you know, I love you guys. You're absolutely phenomenal beings. What you're going through is absolutely uh, transformative, more than you've ever experienced before. And most especially when you're forced to look at it. And I'm definitely looking at myself. Please let me start this reading by wishing you well. Hoping you do have good sense, common sense. That you're motivated by love and not greed. Because you're the ones that will survive. I uh, hope that you have common sense and have enough uh, faith to keep yourself busy when everybody else is kind of in lockdown, you know, and keep your mindset good too. But let's get into your reading. Let me start with the solar plexus hit Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to be using these as a clarifier deck, the Easy Tarot, this small deck I got. Absolutely love it. The theme of your reading, Scorpio, is the High Priestess being totally in tune with herself. She's in tune. Sometimes it's a little uncomfortable to know what she knows. Sometimes it's a little uncomfortable to not be able to speak what she knows. To be able to say what she wants to say. Because she knows a lot. She knows more than the average person. Let alone Divine Feminine. This is the uh, unctions within. That are totally true to your total. Totally 100% true to your own soul. And deciding. Making decisions based on all the information she's gathered. Scorpio. You find yourself. Looking in, looking inside, and really dealing with yourself. Stop holding secrets, though. Some things are worth keeping and some things aren't. Some things you have to share with other people. Um, don't behave in such a way that you have to have secrets. Come on. Because um, we have an issue here. I'm going to tell you the story that I see before me. I see before me. A Leo card or the characteristic, the uh, major arcana of strength. And this is someone who is defeating their lions. Training, training. I hear training like training their lion, their beast, their inner beast. Getting, getting authority over their inner beast. That's what I hear. And I asked why. <clears throat> And it was because of the lover's card. Someone had, could have had more than one and had a choice to make. It could have been the way that you loved. Might have not have been in copacetic with the way that someone that you loved or loves you. So there could be a choice at this very moment. You're trying to stay strong and trust your intuition as to what is your next move, Scorpio. 
I'm going to say this before I go on. Cross watchers are welcome here and it could play out in your perspective, but we have to remember that it is just that perspective, okay? So keep an open mind as I show you these general energies, okay? And then I asked what it was about. And it's about a past love situation. Someone that you love and remember sitting in emotional spaces in reference to a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And this was uh, a victory place for you where you actually got along with this person or had a moment with them. It could be any time, space and time. It could be six years, six months, or six days. I guess. But what I'm hearing is that someone's looking back and they're really thinking about coming back. But what they're facing is an environment where there's no growth because there might have been a third person involved in a solid situation. Uh, it's topsy-turvy. The building has... The building on the building has stopped is what I'm hearing, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And then I asked why, um, <clears throat> technically, what that was about. We have the Eight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, in reverse. Now, Eight of Cups is when you're just done, absolutely so done. You're so criminally done. You're so wiped out. There's nothing left for you. There's not... There's no nurturance, there's no trust, there's no uh, positive experience coming out of your environment with someone that you were trying to share emotions with. So you pull, walk away and you stay away. I've had people say that the Eight of Cups in reverse is where someone is being forced to leave but doesn't want to. So what's the environment with this? Again, Involvement of a third emotional party in the relationship. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. It has heavily, heavily, heavily affected you, Scorpio, or someone you dealt with. When you're in this place where you are, this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. When you're in this place where you're at the nine, you're at the end. Uh, Nine of Swords is where someone, um, it, it, I've heard it said that the Nine of Swords is like being in the mindset of in the, in the ancient days, uh, the old days, where women were only given a dowry and they were married off by their families. And you have this one woman, she's laying in bed. This is an example for you of what this is like. Nine of, nine of Swords. She's laying in bed. There are swords up staring down at her in the window. They are like uh, uh, ominous. And they're ominous thoughts. And they're um, low experiences. They're all pointing downward. And she's sitting in bed holding her head and crying because she doesn't feel good enough. She doesn't feel like she's appreciated. She doesn't feel wanted. She may be like the last one picked is, uh, you know, let's say, you know, basketball team or something, she may feel like she's this is always in this state of anxiety and fear. And um, this is spiritual and mental. And then I asked why. And I've got, because she's under the oppression of the energy of the Queen of Wands, or whoever this is, this is someone that, um, this could either be you or someone else you know, Scorpio. But this Queen of Wands, this is Aries Leo Sagittarius. She does act technically, though, represent the archetype of a very um, fiery, passionate, go-getter type of uh, energy. And, of course, it's a feminine energy surrounding you. She is in control of her own environment. Okay. And... <clears throat> I asked, what is she dealing with? She is dealing with the Knave of Pentacles. <sighs> the Knave of Pentacles is a page of Pentacles. This is an offer. I want you to look at this offer. Do you see what this page of, this um, 
Page of Pentacles is like a firm offer of something. But look at what he's doing. She's given him the instruction to deliver something solid to someone. And he's coming either to the third party and thinking about the one from the past. Or he's going to have a conversation with both. Uh, or he's just going to make an offer of some kind. Um, it seems solid. Who knows? And I ask what the outcome will be. You have to remember we're starting with strength. A loss of a building. Mental um, distress. Followed by nothing. The end of a relationship permanent. Why? Ten of Pentacles is like the everything. It's when you've got the bank accounts. You work together. You talk together. You know each other's schedules. You know you love each other. You're very, very devoted. There's nothing hidden. There's nothing secret. And But this, when it's like this, something brought that to that place where there's nothing to trust anymore with it. Even if someone wants to make a gift. I think... Whoever this is ought to come back and give you back what they took from you. Oh, did I say that? Thank you. Then I asked why. What destroyed the foundation? Repetitive secrets. Repetitive behaviors of non-committal or non-connection. Mental minds not meeting. Someone being sneakier than the other one. This is the energy that this is and it's doubled. It is past as it is in reverse and I asked what is the outcome of this total outcome of this situation and I've got the six of wands so this is a victorious path you're on you're on a very victorious path though you don't see it tell me what they don't see spirit give me one for each of these rows here thank you it's like bingo all right here we go for the the two of pentacles is in reverse so someone has stopped juggling solid things like maybe two jobs maybe two relationships um, I don't know what that would be um, in order to get out of the mindset the eight of swords so they're, they're, they could uh, see what was going on and use total utter logic. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is in this presence. This is why strength is needed. And anxiety could be re relative to someone taking away your finances as well. Causing you to have to really tame your inner beast. Tell me what else, please. Death in reverse. The anxiety is about something you don't want it to die. You don't want it to change. You don't want it to transform. You like it the way it is. This is your Empress. Your Empress is the one that... Is creative, beautiful, elegant, intelligent, connected to the universe. Could be pregnant. She could be carrying your child. Uh, the, um, tell me about the middle section. Uh, here we have someone who um, is in the Ten of Swords energy and they cannot leave. That At the moment, they're kind of stuck in a situation where their mind is, they're done. They've been stabbed in the back one time too many. And can't seem to find the energy to move on from the Queen of Wands, who is, you just can't communicate with. Uh, see, Ace of, Ace of Swords. And then down here where the emotions tend to be, we've got the Six of Pentacles, which is reciprocity facing the Ace of Pen Page of Pentacles. Between the two of these energies here of the past and the, the, the present um, choice that needs to be made. Um, the Six of Pentacles is when someone is giving to two, uh, but they're also, but they're giving something solid. So how does that turn out? It turns out that the Page of Swords is in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse. There's a victory here because someone chose to focus on their finances more and look at things in a realistic point of view much more than they did. Uh, with love at the moment. Um, they're not really doing much traveling, but they are experiencing a tower moment. There will not be judgment out there yet made yet on this. There's a little more time than Wheel of Fortune is here. Ace of Wands is new passion, and, and the moon in reverse is no longer 
having um, any kind of doubts like that. So, Scorpio, I've got one more message for you, please. I see this the way that it is. I don't know who it is, who of you it is. I do see it clearly. Um, if you'd like a private reading, please contact me, Robin Strong Readings. Don't listen to that. I actually have more time. <laughs> I've been learning to play with my time and buy time, right? Scorpio, let's get a higher goddess energy here. Wait, there's something else I need too. A dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is open upon you, one of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It's one through boldness and persistence. You've been through much. And now victory is upon you, beloved. For the divine solar child, a new consciousness within you is born. There's something special going on. Let me have a peek at a romance angel card to bring about something that is relative to heart healing. Thank you, spirit and universe and divine guides and white healing light. Boy, we had to look at ourselves lately. What's up? Scorpio. Beloved Scorpios, thank you so much. The more likes, the more views, the more readings. It's just that easy. Gemini is going to get one too. If they, if I can get anybody that crosses the thousand mark, I'll give them a bonus reading. I want to focus, you know. One more, please. Here we go. So you have something coming up in the future. It has something to do with judgment. Um, getting past this, this tower moment. The tower moment could be good. The moon is learning the hard lessons about passion. One more, please. And focusing on your coin a lot. Very soon. Very soon. Love is on its way to find you. It is safe for you to open your heart and love on the highest level of all. Let me give them a soul um, secret language of light card, too. Secret language of life for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Secret language of light. Enlightenment. Oh, wow. I'd say so. Enlightenment, number 43. That's great. That covers that sword. Let's see what we, what we get for that, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> You're waking up from your old habits and patterns. At times you may feel bewildered or not quite like yourself. Relax, all is well. You're just keeping up with your evolution and the life that you desire. Your body and mind are adjusting and adapting to your new and loving soul perspective. It is common for your mind or your body to resist, react, or to panic when you experience the unfamiliar or the unknown. However, from this higher vantage, you can change any story that splits you in two and heal any wounds. You are not trying to replace a negative memory with a positive one. Instead, see all the components of a memory so that a new conclusion can form. An unbalanced memory recreates the trauma every time it's talked about or mentioned. This event or person will be blamed for pain in your life today. A balanced memory has no char charge or activation and then becomes wisdom. You may even come to see a challenge as the best thing that ever happened to you. And once you change and heal your opinion, enlightenment will shine through as wisdom. Here's some inspired reflections and action, Scorpio. Each time you walk through a doorway, imagine more of you is revealed to you. Draw or color in a mandala. A mandala is a design for contemplative meditation that will lead you to your light center and you are becoming self-realized. In other words, you're recognizing all the answers you seek are within you. Keep up the great work. Yes! Beautiful? No. There's not a whole lot of romance, romance. Like, you know, we see relationships happening. We see past, present, future. 
we see you. If you want a private reading, I'm happy to look into it for you. Let's see what they want to say to you. Everything's in the link below. Love you. Bye, Scorpio. Whoops.